Okay, so commentary again. Um, now that some jewels today, so this is um, you know gameplay that doesn't get shown all too much on the channel. Usually with jewels, you do have higher level players. Here I've uh, run into a player called Maxi. First time I ran into him actually. Uh, by this point, we'd already kind of played a bunch, and he'd won some, and I'd won like a few, and then. Um, I started to get a little bit more warmed up. Yeah, so here, so with PK, obviously her main tool being the dagger cancel. So that's something you have to keep an eye out for. Victory. Um, the only thing I find with PK is at that higher level when the lights are kind of not really successful, then can be quite a struggle to get into the dagger cancel because you know you start with heavy too many times you start getting lighted out or you get gb'd out he's not too um uh, aggressive with the lights so you'll see at some point in this fight i do get away with quite a lot of kind of light interrupts you know he deflexes the rain here which gets me bleeding out so yeah, good round here for him You guys will have to let me know what you think about executing in jewels, whether it's BM or you know whether you just want to show off the execution you bought. Personally, I don't really do it just for time, you know, get the round over quicker. But let me know what you guys think. Round three. So there was an example earlier. You know, he's, he's heavy into dagger cancel or heavy into GB a lot, so you can kind of light interrupt, you can GB. Uh, GB did bounce a little bit earlier, you saw, and I just ate the heavy, and that is the risk you've got to take. But yeah, for the most part, that's one of the few things that kind of limits PK from uh, really getting the offense going. Round four. So you'll notice at the start of the round, he does this dodge forward heavy out of range. It's like baiting a move because I try and get the punish and then he tries to punish. And then I try and counter him and then he counters me in the end lane. And then I do a terrible job of trying to get some light parries on those. You can see that he does faint a lot so I can hit those light interrupts pretty freely. So there, he was waiting to go for a light parry because I'd given him quite a few by that point. When someone kind of sits there and stares at you for a little bit, you do kind of pick up on the fact that they are going for a light parry. So that's the reason there that the heavy landed and he dodged forward too early. But then I go on and eat two GBs from neutral and get stabbed six times. So, you know, not ideal. But we move, final round here. See if I can uh, pull it back a bit. Made some silly mistakes so far. Let's try and clean it up a bit now. See there, I tried to uh, GB interrupt and it did bounce because I was a little bit too late. So we're trying to kind of maximise creating space to go into offence here. That's why you do a lot of kind of backstep lights into um, sickle rain and that kind of thing. Good zone options to let there. You see that PK does have... I think it's dodge recovery on the dagger cancel, so that's how she's managing to kind of get out of that, but uh, we got the win in the end. Right, so this is another one against the same guy, again I think we probably played maybe 10 matches in a row. You can kind of, every now and again you'll see us talking a little bit in chat, we did get to talking and he is a very good opponent and a lot of fun playing against. See that he whiffs the wall, but then I make the wrong read on that and he recovers. Uh, unfortunate, but. One thing you'll notice about this guy is he is very reactive to those dodge forwards. I think it's kind of a mixture of predict dodge and bash. So, um, dodge forward GB is quite useful in this duel, and I think also the next one. Round two.
So he's maybe being a bit careless with the uh, dodge attacks there. Um, just trying to maybe condition a little bit and maybe stop him from going for a faint into GBs so that I can dodge without having to throw the dodge attack out. But yeah. That was just stupid by me. It should have been baited. It is a warden. Wardens love to use the pushing counter. And then there's another one as well. I should have um, expected some kind of interrupt there with him being 1 HP. Some people call that like a desperation light or a desperation zone. Option select, etc. But yeah. I should have been prepared for something like that. So I should have either committed or fainted and kind of tried to you know, bait that out. They do need to show Warden some love because he really doesn't have all that much going for him. I know he's got the bash and that's nice, but you know. Outside of the bash, what does he have? A light opener, a zone opener. You see we're both a little bit hesitant here. Um, he's parried lights and things in the past. Um, he's actually won a lot of games just by making good reads. So we're kind of, by this point, we've played each other quite a bit and we're kind of becoming a little bit more familiar with each other's style. So there I was essentially just trying to bait out the pushing counter and he didn't go for it and he said I ate the level 3 bash. I don't actually know what happened there. I think my um, reflex guard just timed out. So that was a good parry. So that's part of the reason you shouldn't really faint heavy into light because it's very predictable. But then, you know, he does the same thing in, in that game. So. Unfortunate, but Maxi is a very good player. Um, there was quite a few duels we had where he just absolutely annihilated me 3-0. So it's definitely not just me winning them all. Now Hito for me is one of those where I actually really struggle against, that kick mix up is deadly, every option giving you a heavy, just absolutely brutal. You can see here in the first round I'm making some good predictions so far against what he's going to throw. Um, obviously Orochi has that kind of dodge forward mix up with the kick or the storm rush, so he is quite, um, quite reactive at that f dash forward. Round two. I do think with Hito that once you start making mistakes against that kick mix up, you do get in a little bit of a, a vortex, a little bit of a blender, and you just, before you know it, you're 1 HP. Like it's happening to me here, 22, 24. So here I know he loves to go for those GBs, so I'm a little bit more kind of confident in throwing out the dodge attack. He also seems very reluctant to go for the unblockable parry, so sometimes you just have to commit until you condition someone into reacting to them. He at the minute is trying to kind of light interrupt, uh, and I think he does a zone maybe as well. Round three. So again, very reactive to the dodge forwards. So with that one, obviously Hitokiri gets hyper armor on the unblockable. A lot of the time if you go for an early parry and then dodge out, they will commit thinking they're going to win the trade. So I tried to do it again there but he actually baited it out of me. Um, but he expected the dodge instead of the dodge attack so again I managed to get away with that. And there we have the biggest weakness to the kick mix up and that is just that you hold it too long and you can't get like, interrupted. Okay, so now this final duel of the video was actually my first duel of the day. So I am a little bit rusty here. The first round is pretty terrible for me. Um, this guy, you know, definitely wasn't on the level of Maxi. Very much typical Orochi player, which we love. You know, they give a lot of quick attacks out, give me lots of cool clips. But as you can see here, I'm just completely eating damage that ordinarily I would not really be taking. 
So I mean, I do pull off a couple of deflex here, but it's not really to the level that I try and hold myself to. Now, in this second round, I do come back and I play with a little bit more focus. I a little bit more patient and just ready to wait for the uh, typical Orochi quick moves. Um, you'll see here in a second what I mean. So here is becoming very predictable Orochi, lots of lights, very easy parries, just had to get going and get warmed up. I should have maybe expected that a little bit more. Yeah, too many zones. And another one. Yeah, I mean, yeah at this point, Orochi is just gonna Orochi, you know. I'd like to think that that wasn't a, uh, a toxic wow and that's just a uh, well done. So final round here, I think he actually starts to become a little bit more passive once he kind of realises that his things aren't working. Bit disappointed with myself there, missing easy heavy into light feints, but made up for it. So yeah, he's backing up here, zone again, very much a rogue, zone again, and yeah, don't punish that one. Tries to create a lot more space. There I actually try and deflect that and I don't have the dodge recovery from uh, dodging the bash for sure. And there we go, that's game. That is the end of the video. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want more duels or different game modes, just let me know.